Hey everyone, this is Kit with Chicago Reacts, and I'm joined here today with Kira. Hello. And today we are going to be reacting to Pharaoh Review, uh, featuring Caesar Three from the Senate and People of Rome series uh, by Ses Zintek. Okay. Have you? Are you familiar with this series at all? Pharaoh. No. Okay, so you're as new to, as, to it as is, I am. This okay, is, this is all new to awesome. me. Awesome. Okay, so if you uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And then if you want us to watch something, go in the comments below and, and do please the type ask type. us because we'd love to hear what you want us to watch. All right, let's watch it. Watch the video. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Are you tired of the stressful world of modern video games? Yes. Do you want something a little more relaxing? Well, yes. this isn't the game for you because it's been five Great. minutes since you oh my God. the God! <laughs> and Osiris, to put it lightly, is quite upset. Better build a dozen shrines and beg forgiveness. Get cursed anyway. Lose all your crops. What? Go into an endless feedback loop of famine, which leads to emigration, which leads what? to more famine. Because what? once you start the cycle, you don't have have enough workers to stop it. Go what? into debt. Pay interest on your debt. Go bankrupt. Wow. Refuse to give up. Rebuild your finances. Like rebuild everything your bad faith. happens rebuild to you. Rebuild your city. What? And then learn about the interesting life cycle of grasshoppers, which oh, at a I certain population density pump huge amounts of serotonin what? and transform into locusts. Ah. Lose oh, all your crops yeah. again. Quit the game right. and swear you'll never play again. Welcome to Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Released 20 years ago by Impressions Games, Pharaoh is considered as one of the most developed, functional, and unforgiving of city builders. To play, you need to rename your music folder and manually play the music on shuffle and repeat because otherwise <laughs> Whoa, it's going to- Whoa, okay, that's already oh, too that's complicated awesome. for me. No dice. Oh, for sure, for no sure. Dice. But that's what's so funny about it. No How long dice. ago was this thing made? Uh, uh, it, mm, he probably might say it, but I'm gonna say this is maybe either late '90s, early 2000s. I'm, I'm, I'm probably wrong, folks. So don't worry. Don't y yell at me in the comment section below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know so why you guess if you don't know. Yeah. So hey, well, you asked a question. I don't know. I, I don't know. What well, Val Ray? This, <laughs> Let is, me this pull is something this, out of my ass. This, this is a no bueno for me. No, no, no. A crash in five minutes. Otherwise, it runs pretty damn good on modern spyware. It doesn't use many resources, so I, I can focus my CPU cycles into sending my personal information to the CCP. To play okay, the actual awesome. game, you need to make a good family idea. line, a dynasty to follow and develop across the historical progression of the campaign, from the earliest foundations of civilization on the Nile uh, Valley to the triumphant really heights the of its golden like? age. That, it's well, a, the, a lot of... Well, the dude the, dance, that dude dancing? The dude dancing. Is that part of it? No, no. I was probably edited it in. Oh, okay. Yes. I, that confused me a little bit. Yes, yes. But but we have uh, we, we have some awesome graphics, though. So that looks pretty fun. Nice. It's also <laughs> deceptively awesome simple here, and quickly sure. ramps up in difficulty I'm, I'm and amazed. complexity until any faith you ever had in your city planning abilities Holy are cow. completely wiped out, That's leaving funny. only a deep-seated feeling of anguish, despair, and incompetence. Don't worry. I've been there. When I built myself a personal mansion and paid myself a pharaoh's salary, thinking that somehow I outsmarted the Egyptian monetary system. Them. Only later did I realize I wasn't making money. I was taking money from my own treasury to pay myself so I could put it back into my own treasury. My profound economic genius did not go unnoticed because in several months time, the real Pharaoh attacked my city to save my- <laughs> What? That is BS. This is the- Is that like a little like, is, is that a bug? I don't know, but <laughs> oh my goodness, like the game won't let you be corrupt. That's terrible. That's oh, terrible man. for someone like me who's horribly corrupt. I'm corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> People from extreme retardation. Well, in the beginning, you're actually, only the way I read that is you could be corrupt, but it was gonna bite you real hard in the ass. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no. That's funny. If I'm okay. playing a game and I'm in charge of everything, it's gonna work for uh huh. Okay, work for got me. It, got no it, consequences uh -huh. ever. No consequences at all. 
concerns are food, water, and preventing your mud hut from spontaneously combusting. In Ew. ancient Egypt, most forms of architecture have a habit of exploding into what? blazing fireballs that As will eventually do. consume your entire city. Okay. Historians attribute Wait. this to the fact that Egypt is closer to the I sun. Say, As such, every heat? street corner requires an architect and oh, a right, fire crazy. station. Because without them, in a few milliseconds, my city will look like this. Your needs grow with the people, and you always need more people to run the city. This process is encouraged by the fact that as you satisfy their needs, dwellings what? will upgrade automatically, both visually and mechanically, as they accommodate wealthier residents. Wow, Your that. reward for a well-managed city is a city that doesn't look like shit. So, unless you want to start <laughs> mud huts all day, uh, okay. you talk about the essential of Egyptian life. Ancient Egypt invented many great things, yes. such as crime and punishment. The mark of an advanced civilization is a police station. Unfortunately, Pharaoh was an older game in the series, which still worked on the principle of employers having to manually find their employees. This means they have to walk out, and if they don't find any housing, they can't access the labor pool. In the residential sector, this is no problem. In the industrial sector, I, I don't have an easy way of saying this, but I am compelled by the mechanics of a game to form a ghetto. Yes, there's more ethical ways. Whoa, wait a minute. No, wh what? Yeah, well, this is, I mean, I guess this is, I, it, this it, is a curiosity. It's like, well, what's the goal of the game, right? Like, is the goal of the game to have your city look super beautiful and have that, it be like the biggest, grandest, most amazing? Yeah. Or like, or, and or this guy be, said, I can just build as many ghettos I, I, as I like. I mean. I don't know. I just, this, this, is, this is so sad. <laughs> you sad for the people in the collapsing mud huts. It's to reach for workforce, but it's far easier and more convenient for me to simply gentrify the population centers. After what? all, what do they have to complain about? Jobs are plentiful, taxation is fair, and undisclosed income will be recovered one way or another. Back to the better part of a city. One of the most central parts of life in ancient Egypt was religion. Each city recognizes a number of different gods, and they nope. demand wow. worship. Wow. There's wow. obviously more, but in Pharaoh, you worship one of the big five, Osiris, Ra, Ta, uh, Set, and Bast, which wow. respectively control the flood, the kingdom, pottery, destruction, and secondary toxoplasmosis so transmitted <laughs> by your cat. Make them happy, and you'll get a blessing. That usually helps your city. Unless yes. It's a blessing from Ta. Don't worry, mortal. I've resupplied your workshops. Uh, what's that? You don't have a weaver, jeweler, or shipmaker? Well then, my work here is done. Oh, that's a nice empty storage yard you have there. I'm gonna fill it with clay. Appeasing the gods isn't easy. You'll need to develop OCD and check the religion tab every few seconds to see <laughs> how long you have. That's really, please. That's really please, funny. Please, please, evil, evil god, show mercy on me. I don't. Uh -huh. I'm just. A, I'm just. I'm just seconds. a. I'm just a corrupt pharaoh. I'm just trying to build myself a mansion. Don't you want me to be happy? No. I don't want you to be happy at all. I want you to suffer while I laugh at you, you poor are, mortal. You are like, ugh, you should never be in charge. I should never be in charge. No, no never, never. Medieval so. 2 Total War taught me some very important <laughs> lessons about myself. <laughs> Yes, I am a tyrant. Till the next meltdown, gods have to be honored by throwing festivals as often as physically oh, possible. You see, the party. only way to delay divine punishment is getting shit-faced and drinking copious amounts of alcohol. When you vomit, Osiris smiles. Don't be surprised. Ancient Egyptian mythology is uh, very colorful, and I think that's best depicted in the Osiris myth. Most of my retelling comes from the Plutarch account, which has its own issues, but we largely had to piece this all together. Ancient Egyptians believed that words carried power, so the more negative or unsavory parts of stories were often never recorded, because simply writing them would manifest the words into reality. Let's see. Countries that... Sh but... but mm, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not reading all that, folks. Anyway, it goes like this. <laughs> Osiris rules over Egypt, set didn't like that. So he invites him to a dinner party, during which he loudly wow, proclaims that there's a say? gift at I the saw end. Something it's there. a chest, but he'll only give it to whoever fits inside. Every guest tries the chest, but none of them fit except Osiris. As he hops into the chest, oh, Seth and his that. goons Are lock him inside. Guys, no, that guy's not part of the no, video game. No, no, they're not. No, he's not. No, this is all for fun. I'm so lost. Okay. 
All right, hold on. Let's get to the rest. and dismember him into 42 pieces All and set. throw him down river. Osiris's grieving wife, Isis, and his side hoe, Nephis, team up Ooh. to find the missing pieces. They're like, oh, no, we got to go find him. So here's, here's what's interesting. Osiris has two, uh, two women trying to help him out. Yeah, I'm just like one, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, why not just tell us the story through the game? Like, why <laughs> put all this stuff in that's unnecessary? Because it's entertaining and funny. <laughs> okay. Including his dismembered penis. In one version, they find everything except his penis, which has, of course, been devoured by a fish. This may yeah. explain the lack of fish in ancient Egyptian diets. Probably because, as far as they were concerned, they were dick eaters. Isis <laughs> naturally asks Foth, god of magic, to make him a new penis instead, the dimensions of which were never stated. At this point, they preserve a body, making him the first mummy. Then Isis posthumously bangs Osiris's undead body and uh, gets knocked up. Like However, do. Osiris is incomplete, so he pieces out and goes on to become king of the afterlife. Isis gives birth to Osiris's son, Horus. In the meantime, Set has usurped control of the kingdom. That is, until Horus grows up and challenges him for the throne of Egypt. This takes uh, almost 80 years, during which they transform into hippos and bite the shit out of each other. Isis attempts to intervene and harpoon Set, but accidentally stabs her son instead. What? In a perfectly this natural okay, response so this is to happening your mom. In the game? No, this is the story. The, the, the Egyptian guy. I am so <laughs> lost. Didn't it start out with a like one of those community builder games? Yes, it did. Okay. And now, but hold on. And he's, now he's it's giving, like he giving he, it he's, sort he's of turned into lore. something like way. Well, he's giving us the over lore here to me. He, he's giving us the lore Ooh. about why the Egyptian gods this in the game ride, man. are such pricks. There they are. Um, accidentally are you harpooning pricks? you. The ancient gods. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they are petty and cruel. Horus decapitates his mother. Don't worry, it's not fatal. As Foth steps in, slaps the stump, and replaces it with the head of a cow. Which is why Isis is often depicted so. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Set sexually assaults Horus. I mean, we went from dick-eating fish to this. Did you really think it would be safe for work just because it's Egypt? Let me give you some context. Ancient Egyptians believed semen was a very potent substance. In other words, a uh, poison. Set came inside Horus, which made him physically ill and made Set a homosexual. Except uh, no homo, because uh, it's all about power dynamics and mental gymnastics with these people. Horus survives because he caught the semen. With what? With his hands, of course. I imagine he just like uh, slapped it. So just like, how do you think that the whole story like, it's got it in my hand, it didn't happen. I don't know. I, the way. I, I, then I'm Isis really straight lost. up puts Horus's semen on lettuce. Man, don't judge, okay? Find you a mom that cares. Find you a mom that'll help you prank your friend by uh, putting a little extra seed in his salad. Set consumes the cum cabbage and gets impregnated by his rival. Set loses the throne of Egypt and Horus takes his rightful place on the throne. Because, uh, well, after eating another dude's nut, getting your own torn off, and tearing out his eyeballs only to proverbially give birth to them once again is kind of a low blow to your reputation. And that is the Osiris myth. And bet they never teach that shit in schools. It's also relevant because Pharaoh is seen as the physical incarnation of Horus. But back to religion. The gods are fickle. You've got local deities and you've got your oh, patron okay. god. Local deities other, need like, temples or ride. they get pissed. Wow. If a local deity has more temples than another, the other one gets pissed. If the number of temples for each local deity and the patron god are identical, the patron god gets pissed. Satisfying the gods is a delicate balancing act of wasting all your money on temples, but never spending too little or too much that they get jealous and burn your city to the ground. Mm. Aside from the spiritual need for faith, your people have a physical need for it's entertainment. Cool. This is where is being illiterate God, really yeah. hurts. If you haven't read tutorials, you'll know how to place the entertainers, but no oh idea how to place the venues. If it shows red, that's because... This game's a little getting out of pocket here, but oh my goodness. Because your road is wrong, but how do you make it right? Well, as a child, I made every road shape possible until, finally, one of them snapped in place and became green. Once you've got that down, entertainment is sorted. Look at them. Not a phone in sight. Just people living, living in the moment. Life. 
dying of malaria. Unless Ew. you want your entire workforce to be wiped out by a plague, consider implementing universal health care everywhere okay. except the ghetto. Insurance what? coverage <laughs> doesn't extend no. to my work camps because the cheapest cure for malaria is to delete the household, which is a good time oh to mention. Oh my god! That, uh, if you Wait a minute. Hold <laughs> on. Let's be compassionate here. Yeah. What about all those poor, poor people? Like, the, well, actually, who, who am I to say? Because I played military strategy games where, again, you know, I, I'm destroying villages. It's set, well, around. it's setting you up to yeah. be horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, I know. But for some reason, this is kind of hitting at my what remains. You're of poor. My, you're effed. Yeah, well, no, no. It's 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 hitting what remains of my heartstrings here, and I don't know why. I thought I cut all my heartstrings. Oh, are you are you getting the feels right now? I'm getting the feels for the sad digital people. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know. All Click right, on well, someone. You know, if you need a, <laughs> Oh, my stomach. Yeah. Oh, my head. They'll tell you their personal feelings about the city. I can't find a place to live. <laughs> at any given time. Why did I've I laugh at that? I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Advance fervor and your people will demand more. Pottery, beer, recreation, education, a working legal system to complain about the state of police brutality. And if you give them enough of these goods and services, they'll turn into nobles. Say goodbye to half your workforce because these guys don't do heavy labor, but their <laughs> estates are absolutely beautiful. Pharaoh was a very aesthetic game, and it still is. You've got a lot of options for beautification, from plazas to gardens to statues you can choose and rotate by pressing the R key. Primarily, you're going to use them to inflate property values, but there's also another lesser-known purpose to statues, dealing with wild animals. Normally, the only response to an animal fatality is police brutality. If an animal is not beaten, a citizen gets eaten. However, you can block off predators by surrounding. Well, those are some giant scorpions. And look, I'm not a, yeah. I, I'm not a historian. I'm not an animal expert. I don't know anything about any of this stuff. But uh, I do know that scorpions didn't reach that size in ancient Egypt. They just didn't. They just didn't do that. <laughs> like that just didn't exist. That, that just that just that, <laughs> that is not historically okay, accurate. Okay, I mean, video game creators. Yep. Yep. If it was a lion or a hippo... Figured, figured that much. Yeah, exactly. But, you know. them ...with several dozen pickle sphinx statues. This method only applies to members of the animal kingdom, which doesn't include water demons. Do you know how many police officers it takes to kill one hippopotamus? I tested this. I lose five men for every hippo. I Whoa. could send in the army, but then they run to water and toggle god mode. I've learned to accept that there's nothing I can do about this, except increase the music volume to try and... Uh, drown out the screaming. With development hippos. comes prosperity. <laughs> Trade is an essential component of any city, and without profitable exports, you're going to run out of money. Don't worry. If this happens, Pharaoh will send you a stimulus check, because he's literally printing his own money. I recommend declaring bankruptcy at least once each mission. Hey, it's free money, and I'm gonna take it. Anyway, each city can only make certain goods. Everything else, you're gonna have to import. Not only that, but your neighbors and the Pharaoh himself might make requests of your city. On paper, it's a gift. In reality, it's an obligation. Oh, you didn't send food when we had a famine? Then forget about trading because my people are dead. You know those blocks of sandstone you never delivered? They're still missing from my pyramid. And if you don't meet the second deadline, your shoulders will be missing ahead. Even with trade, <laughs> there's still the issue of balancing your budget. Your people have to be paid after all. To this end, you need to build a palace. Without a palace, your palace cannot be robbed. It also allows you to make tax collectors. Tax collectors exist to be shanked in the open street while everyone watches. They're essential for your city. This game taught me an important lesson. Economics is a closed loop. All the wages you ever spend, you get back through taxation, which at 9% is fair and stable. Pump it too high and your city will quickly become a ghost town. I tested this and unfortunately you can't build a tax prison whereby you lure immigrants into your city with low taxation then suddenly pump the tax rate to 25 <laughs> and prevent them from that leaving guy, with no, a double I, layer I thick perimeter those, of solid like, stone. It turns out part yeah, of the yeah. game. No, I, no, they're not. They're, uh, just, they're just added in here. But he's the trying desire to, to emigrate is so strong that though. people simply phase through walls, Whoa. reinforcing the theory that even lower on Maslow's hierarchy of needs is the physiological requirement for a human <laughs> to evade taxation. Ancient hey, Egypt no was pay a taxes. real powerhouse and uh, evoked a lot of jealousy. I would be too if I lived in a desert. Understandably, they're here to take your crops and murder you. Invasions are common, so combat 
that is inevitable. And I'll be real with you, it's not very good. Most of it boils down to how many bodies and planks of wood can I throw at the enemy? That is, until you get chariots, which were considered by many during the time period to be imbalanced pay-to-win bullshit. Alternatively, you could just pray to set. So pay once to your win. enemies reach the map, then Come on, you gotta have, pay, you gotta have that money That's to win. That's controversial, huh? There you go, yeah, make it happen. They'll fall to the ground and be recorded as a COVID death. Above Ooh, all, Egyptian yeah. civilization revolved around one thing, building the sickest tombs. Think of a richest man alive right now in Anno Domini 2020. Now consider that he hasn't even prepared a modest mastaba to serve as his mausoleum. The injured <sighs> Egyptians believed that the... Do you think Bezos would actually build a monument for his uh, eventual demise? Do you think he'll do that? Like it'll be something oh, so Oh, he pretty. already has one somewhere, right? Maybe. Duh, duh. He probably has like a statue of himself in his own home. He, oh, ew. Mm -hmm. Ew. And he probably looks at so it. I and imagine. Just, and drool. What else like, do you do with all that money? I don't know. What do you, what do, you do with all that money? Because like after a while, it's like, I got all this money. What am I going <laughs> to do with it? I mean, there's a lot I can do, but I don't think I can spend it all. Afterlife was a complicated affair. First you die, then you're judged. You tell the gods the 42 sins you haven't committed, and your heart is weighed against a feather, known as mayat or balance. It's all metaphorical, and essentially, live a bad life, and your heart is devoured. Live a good life, and you get to go on to the field of reeds, where everyone, regardless of status, gets the same patch of farmland. To put it simply, the field of reeds is a socialist heaven. That's why Egyptians often buried food, drink, and other valuables with their dead, because you'll need it for the journey. That's why they also got so upset about grave robbers, because think about it, if you're stealing shit from a pharaoh, you're actually stealing shit he needs in the afterlife. <laughs> it's like you're playing Gmod survival, but with God. But God's yeah. multiplayer session doesn't have anti-cheat. And as you try to chow down a fig, it fucking despawns. So you reach for another, it also despawns. <laughs> and now you're naked. Egyptian life was as much about living as it was preparing for the next one, which is why most of the later missions will have you preparing your own funeral as you wait literal years for the pyramids to finish construction. Oh, wow. At this point, there's no shame in using Egypt cheats. Astronaut. The Giza pyramids are actually so goddamn big that even cheat codes can't finish them. They can only speed them up. Luckily, the Cleopatra expansion has none of that. Thanks to the long-term threat of burglary, you'll be building tombs into the rock instead. Inside, the Valley of kings. It's really more of the same, except some guy called Moses keeps messing with the RGB settings of your river. And yeah, and Moses, like I river. noticed that you, there's something uh, suspicious about that guy, yeah. Moses. Boom, who knows? We'll continue to do so until Pharaoh <laughs> finally has enough and decides to free the Jews. This game also comes with a surprisingly functional and intuitive map editor. I even made one myself with a custom script that generates crime every month of the year to try and simulate the average inner city neighborhood of a new world. As a game that's nearly older than most of the people on this platform, it's still got the best soundtrack, the best visuals, and the most functional design <laughs> of all city builders. Wow. Pharaoh like the pyramids, was built to last, and I give it my highest recommendation. It is by no means easy, but all things worth doing are difficult. And what's the most difficult thing of all? Maintaining <laughs> civil. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, they're not really gonna, like, ram this guy. Oh my god. Yeah, he did. He just did it. Uh, you know, that's kind of, uh, it's funny. It's, <laughs> all right, it, it's, it's funny. It's funny. I mean, not for that guy, but I yes. mean. No civilization can ever last. No, empires can't. rise and empires fall. And yes. so did Egypt to the Roman Empire. All Season right. Three is practically a carbon copy of Pharaoh. But hey, Roman religion was pretty much a carbon copy of the Greeks, and uh, I'm gonna get to them in the future. On the other hand, they did invent shit posting. It's maybe comforting or humble. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is, this is, this is, this is, uh, so weep you girls. My penis has given you up. <laughs> now it penetrates men's behinds. <laughs> Goodbye, wondrous femininity. Uh, Theo Opus, don't perform oral sex on girls against the city wall like a dog. We two dear men, friends forever, we're here. If you want to know our names, they are Gaius and Ilias. <laughs> One who buggers a fire burns his penis. Willing to remember that no matter how. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you better hope nobody clips that, like parts of those out. Phileris <laughs> is a eunuch. Uh, Secondus defecated here. <laughs>
months. How much time has passed between us? The hopes, dreams. Uh, let's see, hold on. Oh, look at that guy. It's a graffiti. It's, it's and a, that's a big wiener. Yeah. He, 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 the ancients were just like us. Just, well, the I only mean, thing, the only, the only thing I don't know that I would do that, but yeah. Well, well, well hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, here's what I mean. They didn't have the smartphone technology. I mean, us humans. Us, us as humans. Yeah. But they, because look, if you go inside, you know, you, you'd have people doing graffiti. You, you see this happen all the time with people. And, and you know, they, they make, oh, yeah. you know, they do it all the time. So the, the, the ancients did it too. This is, they, they taught us this. This is all we know. Dreams and motivations of fellow humans <laughs> remains. Very much the same. Handle the only care. difference is I that like instead of spending sure your time you killing Nubians, it. you'll be spending your time killing the Scottish. Caesar Free was very progressive for its time, as it accepted the harsh truth that you could bring civilization to Britain, but you could never bring Britain to civilization. Uh, Unlike Pharaoh, most of the messages you get are actually... She's roll or whatever, that running down the hill. No. Um, they... It's a big thing of cheese, and they roll it down that hill, and it's this incredibly steep hill. Damn it. I wish I had any kind of memory around this stuff. And, uh, and all these people risk, like, risk their bodies to basically run down and be the person to get the cheese, I guess. All right, get the cheese, get the money. Really animated. The voice acting is way better. If more food doesn't arrive soon, there won't be anyone left to pay any tax. That's Combat right. doesn't suck ass, and it actually runs on modern systems. Despite Ooh. all this, it is one year older than Pharaoh. So what's the downside? Well, there's no monuments, but on the bright side, there's no monuments. Overall, if you're concerned about hypertension, Caesar Free is the better option. It's not the anxiety-inducing disaster spiral that I is Pharaoh, but I also sure. highly recommend it. It's a wonderful game about the greatest of empires. Hmm. Your, hold on. Your city has run out of money. Caesar has decided to give you more funds, but he will not be as generous next time. Export goods to generate more funds for the city. Stimulus okay. funds. Go through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. But like any empire, it too had to collapse. The fall of the Roman Empire sent us tumbling into the Dark Ages, a long period of technological decline where the only video game you had was Dark Souls. And it took Ooh. us nearly a thousand years for humanity to finally recover. If you're interested, GOG isn't selling a bundle. Activision oh. flaked out. So oh. instead, use my link and you get a discount on not only Pharaoh, but also Caesar Free and pretty much every game I've ever sold on GOG. Enjoy. As always, more content to come next year. Merry Christmas. We don't celebrate Christmas here because uh, we killed Jesus, but don't let that stop you. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos videos for over two years now, wow. which I neither expect nor deserve, but I count my blessings and I'll try to make it worth your time. Please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and happy holidays. There we go. I think we all learned something here, that the Romans did it the best, and that's why I play as the Byzantines in Medieval 2 Total War. All right. I guess that's what we learned. I, th I think that's what I learned. I, um, yeah, no, that, well, for a, a, a good amount of it, I was very confused, and then I finally put the pieces together. Yeah, I, I think this game would have given me some trouble too. I haven't played this game, but I think I would have rage quit. I would have. I'd be like, I, I'm, I'm tired of it. No, um, but the Roman game looks a lot, a lot of fun. Caesar. Yeah, no, it all seems very nerve wracking to me. I think, and I'm I'm still not sure exactly what the goal is. Is the goal to have like the biggest, baddest empire without it collapsing? Yes, your goal. Uh, well, here's the thing. I I think you would like medieval two total war. I'm willing to I'm willing to go that far because it's far more. <laughs> I, th I think she would. I think she would because the goal of that game is to have the baddest empire of them all, the biggest baddest. Well, I'm not asking that because that's what I would want to play. I'm well, asking I, I that think, because that's what I'm guessing that makes the most sense to me. I guess. Uh, it, okay, tell us your story <laughs> about playing uh, Pharaoh or Caesar three. Doesn't it not like to win? You're the best. The best around. And then who's to judge what the best is, right? Well, since you're in charge, I mean, you get to say So he it. said, like, okay. So anyway, yeah. that's all. That's all. So if you like this video, be sure to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to uh, also support uh, Seth Zintek. Uh, so that that way he can continue to produce more wonderful content for us to react to. If there's a re video you want us to react to, type in the comment section below. This is Kira. Hello. My name is Kit. Goodbye. And this has been Chicago Reacts. 
Stay safe out there, folks. Bye-bye.